hello and welcome to our next uh, video uh, that is relating to the supervised machine learning as we have discussed in our previous value a uh, previous video uh, there is a three types of machine learning supervised machine learning unsupervised machine learning and uh, reinforcement so today we are going to cover a basic concepts about the supervised machine learning so let's start with the basics information or basic description uh, it requires a labeled input and output data during the training phase meaning that we have our model we have sorry we have our data set that have the label input uh, and the labeled output output mean target value so what actually we are going to achieve and after model has trained or learned the relationship between the input and output model start classify unseen data set and predict the outcome so what does this mean the meaning for that we train our model in a way we have uploaded a data set with all the value that have already labeled and already outcome or target value and then our model is well matured after doing all that he can i mean our model will predict the unseen data that belong to same uh, data set that we have uh, trained our model so why we call actually the supervised machine learning because in as the supervised machine learning needs are labeled input so there is some resource needed to label the data sets value so that's why we use call it a supervised machine learning suppose uh, we have a uh, Mm, fruits just for instance we are going to predict the fruits category based on some attributes or same, some feature value so how we do that we add a some value on of the future on, on the fruits suppose in the case of banana we have added a some value like what is the height width and uh, the color and then we consider it a banana in the case of apple we will consider it a weight height width color and uh, all the stuff that's why we 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 label the fruits so the supervised machine learning consists two ca main categories the first one is a classification and the another one is a regression so the what is the classification the classification is a subcategory of machine learning supervised machine learning that predict the model and assign a label that predict the model learned by supervised machine learning and that can assign any class label that presented the training data set to a new unlabeled instance for instance in our case we have a email where it could be a spam or not it could be a true or false or it could be a yes or no or it could be a zero or one so that's called a binary classification in the case of multiple class classification suppose that we have a handwritten we have a handwritten example of uh, letters suppose alphabetical if user provide a handwritten character to our model with any device it could be a i mean attachment or it could be a io devices then our model will automatically detect the letter is it belong to that handwritten or not how that work it work on the certain accuracy so our model will predict the accuracy it could be a 70 percent 80 percent 90 percent or 100 percent and if we put any value that does not was in our 
a training set while we are training our model then that could not be predicted suppose if we put a zero or one or two or three then our our system will not part any kind of uh, uh, prediction because during the training we do not use any kind of numerical value and uh, the another thing is a uh, regression the regression works totally on to predict the feature of the continuous value what does this mean the continuous value we have a uh, suppose uh, we are going to predict a forecast of a stock market or anything that works on the continuous value like it goes to uh, it simply wording it to define the trending of anything so the regression consists three types the first one is a simple linear regression another one is a multilinear regression and the third one is a logistic regression so let's start with the basic with the binary classification in the binary classification consider that i'm going to generate a one a very simple model suppose i'm going to generate a, this value minus 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 or we are going to add a plus again plus again plus again plus again plus and again plus and let's make it a x one and let's make it a x two we put a line over here it, 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 it could be a straight line actually so over here the negative is classes belong to a class a suppose a class and the plus belong to a class b so that's the classification of uh, plus and negative and in the case of multi class suppose we have a more than uh, two classification suppose we have a, in the case of our a previous example we are going to handle a handwritten uh, so how we do that we have to define a first our classes suppose class a class b class c e, class d and class a e. so whenever we put a character to our model our model will automatically classify that character to a, to a particular class model which that we have used while training our model and in the case of regression uh, suppose we have a regression like i said it works only on the continuous value so consider it a y this is our and here is our attribute x suppose we are going to move back like this like this and suppose this then this then this then this then this because we are going to make a trending of uh, of anything then we put a straight line linear line over here with that suppose this one this two and then we put a slope and and for that suppose we will come to this way so that's the way for the regression regression this is just start for just for discussion the what is the, actually the classification is what is the regression is and uh, in our next video we will cover the what actually the classification is and uh, why we use that and which model we can use to classify the things and uh, which model we can use for regression the thing so uh, we will use a python language and then we will come back to the uh, we will use uh, at the moment from very start we will use a collab here is a google collab
Google Colab. We will use this Google Colab. And uh, how we will start? We will start with a new notebook. This is our. We can we can re, uh, rename our file name. So suppose we are going to use a file number one, and then we will start working on this. And uh, also we can save that to a Google Drive because I am I'm already using the Google Drive, so that's why it is automatically saved to my Google Drive. So we will in our next video we will cover the classification. Uh, the binary classification and in the binary classification we will use a decision tree and we will we will check that how we can consider that which value should be the outcome or the target value and which value should be the uh, lib i mean the feature value for xyz or attributes so in our next video we will cover that and later on we will move to the next next uh, algorithm and and so on and thank you for watching if you guys have any kind of uh, concern or any ambiguity just put a comment in the comment box